Well guys, since the last video I have made one more change to the Iron Man helmet. Uh, after getting these T3 done out of this hardboard material that you've seen on the other video, I decided that I was going to uh, take the ears off and redo those out of that same hardboard material. So I hacked the uh, old ear pieces off, if you remember. I filled those up with resin and what a nightmare that was getting those off but uh, I got them off it took me probably two hours to get both of those ear pieces off of this helmet idea ever filling these up with resin so this is a scroll saw this is what I use to cut out all the discs to make up the ears I have a little mock-up here of what it takes to make these ears obviously these aren't full size this is the size of the uh, full-scale ear uh, but for the video I'll just cut out these smaller ones just to show you how I did it. I didn't have enough hardboard left over to do these full size for the video. So uh, I'm basically just going to get these cut out roughly. Uh, I'm not going to take my blade to the line. I'm going to leave pretty much the outline of these with the uh, black sharpie left on here. And once they're roughly cut out, I'll finish sanding them on a disc sander to uh, get them perfectly round and we can move on. So I'll get these cut out. Uh, sorry if it's a little loud, this saw is really old, but it works great. Obviously it goes without saying, be very careful when you do this. Don't cut your damn finger off. So I got those three cut out. Uh, what I'm going to do now is for this one on top, I'm going to use a drill and I'm going to drill a hole so I don't have to try and do this radius with my scroll saw. Uh, it would do it, but it's going to give a lot cleaner look uh, doing that with a drill. And then you just have to come straight on with the uh, scroll saw and connect the lines and get that piece out of there. Now I'm just going to cut out these two straight lines that connect to that radius that I got with my drill bit. 
I'm going to use a little safety block of wood here since these are so small. Obviously for the full size ones they're a little bit easier. You don't have to get your fingers so close to the blade. But for this I'll use a block. So that's got me my cut out there. Finish rounding these discs off on the sander. I'll take off my uh, Sharpie line now and I'll do all three of these separately and after they're glued together I'll go around to do it one more time so that they're all the same exact uh, roundness so they all fit together. <laughs> take one of my needle files and take this section with the top groove cut out and I would go in that groove and I would straighten that out any kind of waviness in there from the saw blade I would get that straight on both sides before it's glued on it's going to be harder to uh, get in there once this is glued on so do it now you can get that nice and straight that's exactly how I did the full size ones. Once you have the three discs roughly rounded on your sander, you can go ahead and start gluing them together. I just use some regular wood glue as these are wood material. Uh, that's going to be your best bet to uh, glue these together. You could use epoxy or something if you want, but I made sure when I was gluing these together I just put a very thin layer of glue because I didn't want to have too much squeeze out into that uh, this groove that we cut into the top one. So just put it on there thin on that top piece. You don't need a lot of glue anyways. Okay, so there's our pieces. Glue this one to that one. That's the two solid bottom halves. And then on the top one, we'll glue that on. Get these roughly uh, even with each other. They are still a little bit off, but uh, you know, I'm not trying to do this perfect for the video. This is just to demonstrate how I put this together. Then I just use these little spring clamps to uh, to hold this together until the glue sets and uh, once that's set we can go around and do our final sanding on these if you have any squeeze out of glue in that groove clean it out now uh, use a little razor blade or something and just get that out of the corners so that they stay nice and sharp. After the glue is set and dried on your glue up here, we'll do a final sanding to get all the edges even with each other. Uh, even though you sanded these separately into a disc to begin with, when you line them up you're still going to have a little bit on the edges that don't line up. So that's what this final sanding is going to take care of. 
we're going to get this perfectly round and all these edges will be perfectly even and flat with each other. sanded. The last step to do on the build of these will be to radius or chamfer this edge. I'm going to use for mine a router with a 45 degree chamfer bit. That's going to put a nice angle all along the edge of that. Uh, this piece is going to be too small to do with the router for the video so I'll just show you on a regular piece of wood exactly what this will do. see the nice angle that that puts on that wood that's exactly how it's going to be on the edge of our ear pieces once they're done that is exactly how I did the full size one to one scale ear pieces I'll get this edge radius with the router after that go ahead and get a coat of primer on here use the, uh, the primer sealer so that it seals that wood and keep some moisture from getting in there and uh, turning this kind of spongy and starting to delaminate these layers here that will seal it up uh, after you have that first coat of primer on and it's dried you can go back with some 400 or some 600 grit sandpaper and sand wherever you need to just to get the wood fibers uh, out of your way once you've sanded off those wood fibers that might be sticking out hit it with one more coat of this and you can glue those right on the helmet. After looking at these ear pieces and the helmet for a while, I have decided that I'm not going to use these full size ear pieces. I'm going to actually use the small ones. Just kidding, guys. There's no way I'm using that. See you on the next video.